Hello everybody, my name is Adrian for WebCar.my and behind me here is the all-new Mazda CX-30 which we first seen at the Tokyo International Motor Show in Japan. Since then, Mazda Malaysia has announced that the CX-30 will be arriving in Malaysia sometime in early 2020. The car is now on display at the Mazda PJ and Glen Mary showroom. So right now, I'm in Mazda Glen Mary to bring you on a closer look of the Mazda CX-30. Contrary to popular belief, the CX-30 is not a replacement to the CX-3, nor is it a direct competitor against the Honda HR-V. Because it's based on a C-segment platform, which is the Mazda 3, it goes up against the likes of the Toyota CHR and Subaru XV. Mazda Malaysia has announced that there will be three variants of the CX-30 on offer, starting from the entry-level 2.0-litre petrol priced at 143,000 ringgit, this 2.0-litre petrol high at 164,000 ringgit, and the range-topping 1.8 diesel priced at 173,000 ringgit. Because the CX-30 is based on the Mazda 3, the two shares a lot of similarities in terms of design and features. Up front, you get a nice hexagonal grille, a slim LED headlamps, and on the CX-30, you get an LED daytime running lights down here that doubles up as a turn signal. High-spec variants of the CX-30 rides on 18-inch alloys wrapped in 21555R18 profile rubbers, while the entry-level 2.0-litre petrol gets 16-inch alloys instead. Unlike the rest of the Mazda SUV range, which has a tall and typical SUV look, the rear profile of the CX-30 is more akin to a jacked-up hatchback, if you compare this against the Mazda 3 hatchback, and you know what I mean. There's lots of curvatures here and there, and floating effect around the tailgate. I quite like it. What I like even more are these LED tail lamp clusters, which reminds me of an Italian car. Lots of flair, very emotional, and just mesmerizing to look at. What I find it even more interesting is this 2-litre batch right here. Previously, the engine capacity was reserved for 2.5-litre variants, so I wonder why Mazda chose to advertise the 2-litre on the CX-30. The cabin of the CX-30 is just like the new Mazda 3, exquisite. You have lots of high quality touch points around. Even the lower section of the center console is cladded in high quality soft touch leather. As standard, all variants of the CX-30 gets this 8.8 inch MZD non-touchscreen infotainment system that supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto linked to 8 speakers. There's also a new generation instrument cluster with a center 7-inch TFT display flanked by two analog dials. On the high-spec variants of the CX-30, you get pedal shifters for the 3-spoke multifunctional steering wheel, those on automatic climate control, keyless entry, rear air vents, powered sunroof, as well as powered front seat with memory function for the driver. The rear seats of the CX-30 doesn't feel as claustrophobic as the Mazda 3 thanks to the higher roof line and larger rear windows. Space in here is pretty alright, I have just enough of headroom, knee room is pretty decent too, but I have plenty of space in the footwell because I can slot my feet under the front seats. Because the CX-30 is available with all-wheel drive in certain markets, you have quite a huge tunnel hump in the centre, so the middle passengers will have to struggle to get comfortable. Other amenities in here include a seat back pocket on the passenger side, curiously only the passenger side, none here. A centre armrest with two cup holders, soft damped grab handles, but you don't get USB charging ports back here. On the high-spec variants of the CX-30, you get the full suite of Mazda iActiveSense Advanced Driving Assistance System which bundles Mazda Radar Cruise Control, Autonomous Emergency Braking, Blind Spot Monitoring and Lane Keeping Aid. On high-spec variants of the CX-30, you get powered tailgate and it opens up to 430 litres of boot space, that is 53 litres more than the Toyota CHR. And underneath here, you get a Space Saver spare wheel. There are two engine options available for the CX-30, a 2.0-litre naturally aspirated 4-cylinder Skyactiv-G petrol engine making 163 horsepower and 230 Nm of torque, as well as a 1.8-litre turbo-diesel Skyactiv-T engine making 114 horsepower and 270 Nm of torque. Both engines are linked to a 6-speed automatic transmission to drive the front wheels. Thanks for watching, we hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. Let us know in the comment section below what do you think about the new Mazda CX-30.